Hi, I'm Kelly Kay, your Power BI Community Program Manager. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Microsoft Dynamics 365 and Power Platform community and user group experience. Today, we'll go over how to sign up to become a member of the community, search for existing user groups and events, and how to start a new user group. So let's jump over to the Dynamics 365 user groups first. Before we get started, what are user groups? User groups are a place where you can connect with other people who are users of the Microsoft Power Platform and Dynamics 365. So let's start out with the Dynamics 365 and Power Platform community landing page, where you can find various user groups and community links. Let's head over to the Dynamics 365 user group section at the end of the site. Now, in order to join an existing user group or to create a new one, we need to first head over to the top right-hand side of the page and click on the sign-in icon. The sign-in icon will take us to the community membership sign-up page. Here, we'll enter a desired name, email, user type, primary role, and industry. Once that's created, we have one more thing to check before we can get started on browsing and creating user groups. Let's now head back over to the top right hand corner where you can see your username. Click on the three dots and then select settings. Here you can see your profile settings where you can set up your birthday, your signature, add a profile picture and other details about who you are and how your information is visible to other users in the community. One really important setting to remember is to set up your time zone and make sure it's reflective of where you live. This will ensure your user group notifications are localized to your time zones since many of the user groups meet all around the world. Now that we're all set up, let's head over to the Dynamics 365 user groups section. Since we're in the Seattle area, we can see a number of already established user groups. Each of these user groups have a number of ongoing events. And because many of the events are online, we have no shortage of options for ways to connect with others. We encourage you to look to see if there are other user groups and events that exist in your area. This way, you can easily connect with a pre-existing group of people rather than creating your own user group from scratch. Before you create your own user group, Please make sure to have a look in each user group community to confirm that another identical user group doesn't already exist in your location. Okay, let's say for instance, I live in an area of the world where there isn't an existing user group. For the sake of this example, I'm in Redmond, Washington. So we'll go over here to start a new user group. Since we're going to be dealing with Dynamics 365, it makes sense to have our user group hosted here. But if we're creating one user group for two products on the Power Platform, then we'd want to head over to the Power Platform user group section and create a new user group there. If we find there's more than one user group request from the same location and product, we will encourage leaders to work together. Our user group coordinators will facilitate those conversations with community members. After selecting Start a new user group, you'll see an overview of the next steps for creating your user group. Start out by filling out the form with the required fields marked with a red asterisk. Please make sure to select a location where your user group will be with a city, state or province and country. We highly recommend that all user groups have a minimum of two leaders. However, this is not a requirement. You can add up to seven group topic tags to help identify your group using keywords. A group description is a good idea to help others discover what your group is all about. You can upload a photo for your user group. And if you haven't chosen a photo, a Microsoft approved photo will appear on your user group homepage. Once you're done with the form, select the preview button to review your user group page. If everything looks good, select the submit button. And from there, a user group coordinator will contact you within 48 hours to let you know whether your user group has been approved. In our next video, we will explore our new user group, create a new event and invite new members. 
We appreciate you joining the new user group experience and we look forward to working with you and supporting your meetings and members. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the community.